Hi, welcome back everybody. My name's Steve, I'm Mr. Chuffy84. I uh, hope everyone's keeping okay uh, amidst the outbreak of the coronavirus. Um, I just hope that you're keeping well uh, and just, just, just please do uh, be, be sensible and be safe wherever you are and make sure that you take care of yourselves. Well today I'm going to do an album review and this is for someone in particular. This is for a lady who I used to go to school with, a lady called Holly. Uh, she, um, well, one I got in touch with her recently uh, and she was remarking on the on the reviews that I have been doing, uh, on the singles and, and everything else I've been doing. Uh, I asked her if she would like me to do a review for for her and she said uh, and she said well yeah I mean if you'd like to and she said that um, the one album that she'd like me to that 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 I could review for her is an album called All in All which is released in 1977 by Earth Wind and Fire now I must apologize I haven't got this album so I've had to print off a, a copy of the album uh, cover. Uh, so that's not quite how... It's very, very close to how the album cover should be, except for all these lines at, at, at the top. That might be something to do with my uh, with my printer. Um, <laughs> but anyway, there it is, the album cover for uh, All in All by Earth, Wind and Fire. This is a, a, what I can only presume is a favourite album of Holly's. Um, and I think, um, if I'm right, Holly, I think... Um, one of the biggest songs off this album I think is a favourite of yours in particular and that's Fantasy which of course is uh, uh, one of Earth, Wind & Fire's most famous songs alongside Boogie Wonderland and September all the radio hits you know um, so I had a little listen to this album just this afternoon um, I didn't know this album there's only one track from this album uh, apart from fantasy which I do know but I'll come back to that a little bit later on but I didn't know the rest of, of the album uh, let me, let's just talk about this album very very quickly just just talk about it just for a second before get get into the tracks and what I thought of them so let's see what it says well um, the album as we're saying it was recorded in 1977 uh, August of that year released in November of that year um, in the R&B and funk uh, genre uh, produced by one of the band members Morris White um, very well received uh, it says here uh, this is uh, according to Wikipedia uh, as an album all in all uh, won, won a Grammy for Best R&B Vocal Performance by a Duo, Group or Chorus. The track Running also won a Grammy Award for Best R&B Instrumental. Additionally, All in All was nominated for, for an American Music Award in, in the category of Favourite Soul Stroke R&B Album. Serpentine Fire, which opens the album, reached number one on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart and number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. Another single, Fantasy, peaked at number 12 on the Billboard Hot Soul Songs chart and number 14 on the UK Singles chart. Fantasy also earned a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Song. So there you go, some really good uh, reviews there and, uh, and the singles did well. So... Is this album as good as they say it is? Well, Holly, and everybody else who's checking this out, yes, it is. It is a really funky record. It is a really, really funky album. I mean, these were some of the funkiest guys around at that time. Not only great singers, Philip Bailey, of course, Morris White, um, who I think they both shared vocal duties, I think. Um, but you've also got some wonderful musicians, Larry Dunn, Larry Dunn and Verdeen White, uh, both of whom actually worked much later on with with one of our groups, Level Forty Two, in the eighties. They did. They produced an album there's called Standing in the Light, and in particular uh, the single, The um, Sun Goes Down, uh, from nineteen eighty three. If you know that song. Um, Larry Dunn and Verding White uh, produced that for them, but uh, bet you didn't know that. So a bit of trivia there. Uh, so these guys were amazing musicians, great singers, and they had the best horn section in town. And I'll come back to them in a little while. 
so the album itself well it is it is really really funky it is extremely good i'm going to talk you through very quickly one by one the uh, tracks as i said earlier the album starts with serpentine fire which i didn't realize was one of their singles uh that is a really i mean you have to have a track that is a really that's a great uh opener something that really grabs you and it's a bold statement um and it really grabs your attention, keeps you hooked, and Serpentine Fire does just that. It is a very, very funky track. Some wonderful bass playing on that. Uh, a bit of bit of bit of slap bass on that. Really funky. Really sounding good. Really good song. Followed by Fantasy, of course, which is um, the best known song from that album. You hear it on the radio all the time. Uh, very, very well written song. Um, Morris White and Vadim White, I think, between them, uh, wrote that one. Really good. This album it has little musical interludes as well, some like little instrumental interludes. They're only about about thirty seconds, forty seconds each, and they're all quite nice. Uh, and they come to every after every like couple of songs. Uh, In the marketplace is the first one that comes after fan, uh, fantasy. That's. Um, a very straightforward very nice little interlude uh, there's a Brazilian rhyme that comes later as well uh, that's nice too then we come into the other songs so again some really funky so and, and what's good as well is it's very nicely set set out so you have a nice fun a couple of really good funky tracks then you have a nice ballad and then you go back into the upbeat f funky stuff and then to a nice ballad af uh, after that Ju Jupiter is a song which I don't think I'd heard before again so good I mean really upbeat really good really funky I, I said the playing I mean the musicianship on all these tracks is second to none I mean it is just unbelievable I mean I don't own the the Earth Wind and Fire albums we do have a best of my mum has a best of album um, and I mean and hearing them on the radio I mean you just know those guys were just so good musically um, but hearing this album today it made me realize that again just how good these guys were good songwriters and great musicians and Jupiter is another top funk song absolutely brilliant Love's Holiday which is um, uh, nice, uh, good, good ballad. Very, very nice ballad. Uh, that works very, very nicely. Uh, the one song which I didn't. There's only really one song which I didn't really get into, perhaps as much as everything else. But I think with repeated listening, I'll probably it'll probably sort of grow on me. And that's the song that starts the second half. I'll write a song for you. Uh, but I say that I think Philip Bailey sings uh, well he co-wrote that song I, uh, from what I can see yes he did he co-wrote that song and he has a very big range has a big vocal range his falsetto range is quite extraordinary where he sings up high really 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 high uh, in fact there were a couple of moments of that where he sounded a bit like a, a bit like Prince when Prince used to do his falsetto uh, singing on Kiss and um, uh, some of the stuff he recorded for Batman as well he, he used his falsetto um, vocals and Philip Bailey on that track on I'll write a song for you there's a couple of moments there where it's, it's almost it's almost Prince like you know you know what I mean so um, that, that was the song that, that was the only one on this album that after hearing it for the first time I thought nah, it's alright it's okay it's fine but as I say if I hear it again hopefully I'll be able to get into it um, uh, on another occasion Magic Mind follows that one uh, again going back to the up tempo funky stuff another very very good track to get into um, then we come to the one other track on this album which I did know going into this and that's the track called Running and this is the one that sort of I think won or was not was it did it, did it win um, I th uh, it won the Grammy Award for Best R&B Instrumental um, now this track I came across on a compilation al uh, album many many years ago when I was at school when I was at secondary school uh, obviously being in music class I was exposed to a whole variety of genres of music some I had never heard before um, at, at, at home I was listening to sort of um, 
to older pop music because I was listening to my mum and dad's music a lot. So a lot of sixties music, um, jazz, classical music. I was also discovering other bands and more sort of more pop and rock music through my uncle's record collection as uh, as as well. But at school, I was discovering, I was hearing uh, jazz funk for the first time. I was hearing Latin music for the first time. And I was that really uh, interested me. I was really, really interested. Uh, my music teacher at that time, uh, she had these albums and she would play them either as part of the lesson or I would ask her if I could just have a little listen to them just uh, after school or whatever. And she did. She was very, very gracious enough to let me, to, uh, to let me do that. Um, so with Latin music, for, uh, for example, I don't think I would have ever got into, into Santana if I hadn't have heard um, a, uh, a Latin compilation album that, that she had called uh, uh, L Latino Fiesta. That's right. Um, and that was unbelievable. I really uh, enjoyed that. And it was because of that I was able to get into the music of, of, San, of Santana. Uh, li likewise, with other bands like Earth, Wind & Fire, uh, when I was a teenager, while I was at school, uh, I found I came across some budget price jazz funk compilations um, called Jazz Cuts. Ones like this Jazz Cuts, Jazz Carnival. Even though it says jazz on it, it it's jazz funk rather than straight, uh, strict jazz. <laughs> Just to let you know. Um, so, Jazz Carnival was one in the series. Another one called Jazz Funk Reaction. And the other, because there was a set of three of them, the third one is this one, Jazz Funk Renaissance. And I don't know if you can see it, Earth, Wind and Fire. And running along with, because they act, they did also put the um, the interlude that's after running, called Brazilian Rhyme, both of those appear on here. Running and Brazilian Rhyme appear as the first track on this compilation, Jazz Cuts, Jazz Funk, uh, Jazz Funk Renaissance. So that is how I knew the track running. Um, it's a good, so it's, it's, it's instrumental. It does have a vocal line to it. Uh, I think it's Philip Bailey just sort of scat singing the melody line. Obviously I can't demonstrate that here because I don't want to breach copyright or anything. Um, but, uh, but it is an instrumental track. Um, gives everybody a chance to show off their their plain chops you know really good and that leads me back to the um to the horn section for earth wind and fire because they had some of the best horn players playing some of the most really in intricate um arrangements i mean it, it was really fast and furious very punchy very funky um and those guys Funnily enough, late, uh, later on, would work with Phil Collins on his Face Value album, and uh, and and would tour with him as well uh, throughout the '80s. And they also appeared on one of, um, of course, Phil Collins obviously being in Genesis. Uh, they also the horn section also appeared on one of the Genesis albums too. Um, so the 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 Earth, Wind, and Fire horns. I can't remember all their names, but the two that that ring a bell. Oh, that so that that come to mind are Don Myrick, who's one of the saxophone players, and Louis Satterfield, who is the uh, trombonist. I mean, they were so good. I mean, just brilliant, br brilliant, brilliant players. Um, so they feature not only on this track, but all of the all the all the tracks, you know. Uh, and as I say, their playing and the arrangements are just unbelievable. Uh, so that's running and Brazilian Rhyme and then the album finishes with Be Ever Wonderful which is a really again is is a it's a it's a big ballad it is a ballad but it's big big sound and um, a really good track to round off the album because if you've had a lot I mean it could have finished with another big funky track but uh, it makes sense to finish the album with a slower number just just wind it wind everything up and um, and it works well and say the vocals on it the playing on it is just tremendous um, it's a really enjoyable album I really enjoyed hearing it this afternoon Holly uh, I'm glad that it's a favorite of yours will I be getting myself a copy of this album I might just do that you know because I would love to hear it again I heard it online today um, and so 
if I you know I can get myself a physical copy either on CD or on vinyl, um, I can really you know feel the benefit of that and and um, and hear it to even better se uh, second time round. Okay, so that's it. That's uh, that's the review of Earth, Wind, and Fire all in all uh, from 1977. If you would like me to do an album review um, for you, uh, it, if it's a, a, a favourite album of yours, please do let me know and uh, let me know about all in all. Are you are you a fan of it as well? Let me know. And uh, but if you want me to review another album for you, just let me know. I will have other things to to uh, review for you, um, and I'll hopefully do some other movie reviews too. I hope you've been, you've been enjoying the videos I've been doing here on YouTube so far, and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Hope you all have a good week. As I say, please do take care wherever you are. Please do look after yourselves. Uh, don't don't take any risks. You know, just just be sensible, be safe, look after yourselves, and keep well. And I will be here again very 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 soon. Okay, take care for now, everyone. Have a good week, and bye for now.